Welcome back to Frenchie's Bakery. Today we're going to be doing episode two of our Chunky Cookie series. And I'm so excited because the last episode was so much fun. The cookies turned out incredible. They tasted so stinking good, you guys. If you have yet to make them, go back and watch that video and follow my step-by-step -step directions and try it out because it is so, so good. My mom is begging me to make more because I took some over for her to try and she's just dying to have more and so am I and so is Mike. It was like all of our favorite cookie ever. It was just so, so good. So I highly recommend. That was definitely very successful. I just wanted it to be a little bit thicker. I didn't use baking powder. So today we're gonna be using a bunch of baking powder. So the cookie today is going to be for Valentine's Day since it's right around the corner. Um, um, and I actually had this cookie in mind because I've made something similar a few years ago as a little experiment. It was a cookie made out of cake batter, like boxed cake batter, and I stuffed it with cream cheese and white chocolate chips and it just turned out amazing. So today I'm going to be testing it out, but it's not gonna be a box cake recipe and I'm gonna try and make it, you know, really chunky and big. So. Uh, that's what we're gonna be testing out today. I asked a bunch of you guys to comment below on my video last time some ideas, and then I also did a post on Instagram, and there were so many amazing ideas, and somebody mentioned to do a red velvet cookie for Valentine's Day, and I was like, that is perfect, because I already had this one on like my list of ideas, because I'm making up a list as well, and uh, I was like, that's perfect. I didn't even think about Valentine's Day, so thank you so much for all of your amazing ideas, and uh, that's the one we are going to be doing today, and I'm excited because I know it's gonna taste pretty good because I've already kind of had it before. So I'm gonna show you guys all of the ingredients and then we're going to start mixing our cookie together which is, it's kind of the worst part because I just love cookie dough and it is so tempting but <laughs> that's what we're gonna work on. I'm gonna show you guys all of our ingredients that we can get to making this cookie. So I brought my handy dandy KitchenAid mixer over and the first thing we're going to work on is our white ingredients because that's always what you do with cake cookies, whatever. So you are going to need one cup of softened butter, one cup of light brown sugar, and half a cup of granulated sugar. And we're just going to cream this together for about 30 seconds. And then you're gonna add in two eggs, about half a tablespoon of red food coloring. I'm using a Mary color here because it's the best. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then we are just going to mix this up until it's fully incorporated. So in a separate bowl, we're gonna add in all of our dry ingredients. That way we can mix it up and it's all evenly distributed. So you're going to need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a sprinkle of baking soda, so just like a teeny tiny little pinch, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna whisk all of this together and then add it into our wet ingredients very slowly until it all becomes incorporated. And then last but not least, we're gonna add in two cups of white chocolate chips and just mix this up until they're incorporated. You don't wanna over mix this. Right, so our cookie dough is finished. I'm gonna let it just rest a little bit because it's been mixing a lot. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for a few minutes just to let it cool and chill um, because we're gonna be stuffing it with some stuff and I want it to be a little bit more firm. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. I'm gonna get another mixing bowl for this lovely KitchenAid mixer that I have here. And we are going to make some icing to fill it with. Um, so it's just gonna be my normal cream cheese icing that I use and I'm actually going to make a full batch because I'm gonna make some cupcakes for Mike and I tonight so we can have some dessert after dinner. So uh, just put this recipe in half if you're just going to be making these cookies and you don't want a full batch of um, icing. But I figured I might as well just make the whole batch right now. So just so you guys know, I am making a full batch of icing, but we are definitely not going to use it all. I'm gonna use it on cupcakes later tonight, okay? So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then we will get started on our filling. All right, so now it is time to work on our filling. I'm sorry, you guys, this bowl is not clear. It's white, I'm sorry about it. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients and we're gonna mix this up and it's gonna be so tempting not to eat it all because I love my cream cheese icing. It's just so good. 
So the first thing we are going to add in is our one and a half cup of salted butter. Make sure it's nice and soft and four ounces of cream cheese. And we're going to mix these together for about 30 seconds to a minute until they become nice and light and fluffy. And then we're gonna add in eight cups of powdered sugar total. And in between every two cups of powdered sugar, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just gonna keep alternating between the two cups and the tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and just keep whipping this up until it becomes nice and light and fluffy like a cloud. All right, you guys, so I have my cookie sheet here. I have my frosting here and I have my cookie dough here. And then I also have my four ounce cookie scoop so we can make massive cookies. So I'm gonna scoop out some dough and I'm gonna start off with three cookies again this time just to test things out. Uh, you know, just to see. Um, Cause I'm too scared to commit to all of this dough. So we're gonna scoop out three massive cookies. And I kind of almost want to do a batch where I freeze them for like an hour and then a batch where I don't freeze them and see like the difference. Maybe I'll do one cookie. I'm gonna bake one cookie, not frozen, and I'm gonna freeze the three of these. Um, so let me get out my smaller cookie sheet and we'll try that out and just see the difference. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees right now as we speak. So I'm going to take this dough here Kind of like flatten it out a bit. I took some icing and I made little balls and then I froze them in the freezer for like five minutes. Put it in the middle and I'm gonna form the dough around this icing. So this cookie is ready to go. We're gonna pop it into the oven and I think I'm gonna bake it for 15 minutes. I think that's what we tried last time and just keep an eye on it and see how long it takes. I think the other cookies took about 17 minutes. Um, Oh my gosh, you guys, this is kind of like really exciting. So I'm gonna pop this in, we'll see how it goes. And then um, I'm gonna fill the rest of these, pop them in the freezer for an hour, and then see how differently they bake. And I will get back to you guys whenever I bake them. All right, you guys, just like that, our red velvet cream cheese cookies are finished. The kitchen smells amazing. Oh, yeah. And I only have three here because the rest are baking. And then the one that I didn't freeze is sitting over there. I mean, it's not too much of a difference, but I think from now on with this you know, series, I'm just gonna freeze the cookies. And uh, I mean, maybe I'll always leave one out and not freeze it just to see the difference since we're kind of testing things out. But I definitely think I like I feel like I like the texture better of the cookie since it's frozen. So these are really, really gorgeous. I don't want them to fall off the plate, but I am really excited to dig into this after my dinner, because Michael brought me home Chick-fil-A, which I'm so excited about. And then I'll dig into one of these cookies. Um, I baked them for 15 minutes, and that's all it took. I can't believe it. I thought it was gonna take like 18 minutes, but it was only 15 minutes. So this was very successful. I'm gonna do a little cut for you guys so you can see the inside of course it's the best part of a big chunky cookie filled with stuff i love seeing the inside of cookies so yeah i guess i'll wrap things up and then stick around for me cutting into the middle so thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one have a good rest of your day everyone bye